Hi guys, in this video, we'll show you how to design a sport polo shirt using Yellow Images 3D mockup. Okay guys, before we start, please subscribe and click the notification bell so that you're always updated for my upcoming new videos. So let's start. So first thing is on the right side that t-shirt highlights and shadows make sure that you lock both of them. Now we're going to apply white base on the main body. Just create a new layer then using the paint packet make sure you select white then click once and save we are going to apply uh, color combinations of blue three shades of blue and white on this uh, design okay now before we put the uh, color on both sleeve we're going to design the main artwork on the body we are going to use Adobe Illustrator for that so just create a new um, square artwork uh, Bounds. Okay. Now, using the pen tool and selecting the first shade of blue that we're going to use is this uh, shade of blue. Okay. Just click on the side. And before you do that, guys, make sure that you enable the the guide. So, the guide that I'm talking about is this, uh, when you use the pen tool, you will see the pink, uh, 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 line on the center, so, it means you're on the center of the, the square page, so that, guide is can be enabled uh, in view on the up down menu then just scroll down then look for smart, smart guide so this one must have a check on it okay okay let's start pen tool okay now we are going to adjust this so how do you adjust that uh, both sides just click and uh, hold in hold alt or option key in your keyboard and drag then release okay now the weight of the stroke is we are going to apply 20 pt now another we will create a, a thinner one just duplicate while holding shift then again select and using the group selection tool Hold shift and alt option click once then drag then release now we're going to put this into 10 then move uh, make sure you are showing a small uh, space in the center now we'll try to move it thinner a little bit maybe eight that is okay 
now adjust now duplicate these two now make sure to have a uh, wider spacing on the boat in the center just like so now we will change the color of this uh, outline into a darker shade of uh, blue and we will duplicate this again on the third uh, creating a third uh, artwork while hitting the command or control D in your keyboard oops again just duplicate Okay, make sure it is uh, it has the same spacing like the second dark core. Now we will change this to darker shade of blue. Okay, now we have three shades of blue. And now just uh, copy all the artwork, then go back to Photoshop. Then, well. You have selected this uh, front uh, layer of the polo. Just hit Command or Control B, V in your key, in your keyboard, then Pixels. Okay. Then sh uh, hold Shift and Alt. I'll select the end of the artwork then drag to make the artwork more bigger then adjust the adjust the artwork like so okay I think that is okay now we are going to to get the color this uh, light shade of blue while hitting the eye in your keyboard or the eye drop just uh, click that once as you can see you are now selected the uh, lighter shade of blue now we are going to apply that inside the both sleeves of our polo click create a new layer use the paint packet click once then save then do that on the, the other arm create a new layer click once then apply or save and now we are going to to make sure that this artwork that we have a base is only inside the main body so we are going to select that then hold the Alt or Option key in your keyboard then hover in the center of these two layer it, you must you must have uh, you, you can see that there is an arrow down showing just click it once okay now the artwork is inside the body Okay, now I'm going to put a uh, darker shade of blue in this uh, area below our hem. So just use pen tool and make sure you have selected the darker shade of blue by using the eye drop. Okay. Currently, you select the you select the artwork 
uh, layer then use the eye drop and click on that once then go back to pen tool then just draw um, artwork in here just to close this uh, part now again using the out just clip it inside okay perfect now we are going to apply our uh, logo so we will put text here yes type in your logo so we will apply yes that's the color that we want on that now adjust then move then we will adjust that to make it a little bit bigger now zoom in to check Okay, and now hit enter. So now we are going to put a logo on the sleeves. Just double click, then we will put our logo. Just drag and drop, hit enter, adjust. We will make this a little bit smaller. Let's check. Save. Then you can check if your placement is correct by dragging that uh, slip layer on the side. So as you can see here, it's not on the center. So make sure to drag it on the, uh, the correct place and adjust if you think that is too big then hit enter then save again so okay so that's the center of the sleeve so i think we have put the logo correctly now close and now we are going to change the neck tape to one of the blue just to show just to make it more fashionable and cool so that we're going for this steam so we are going to apply the steam color so it's going to be where's that uh, steam just click that once okay and drag it then you can just uh, uncheck the parts again then now you have let's check let's make sure that you have applied the correct blue so we're going to use the eye drop again then okay eye drop check okay now apply it again on the steam just double click then click the selected blue and now we have our neck tape in contrast color 
Okay, now we are going to apply or to design the back part of our polo shirt. So what we are going to do is just drag and drop the the front artwork that we have created. So make sure that you can see both uh, layer. So we can work easily. So select the artwork, drag, drop, then make sure you have put this in the center just like we apply on the front. So now we are going to apply white base on the back of our polo shirt. Just double click then create a new layer then g that's the shortcut key for our paint packet so make sure we are going to apply the white and click once then save then again on the sleeve so we are now going to apply the blue so we are going to use the eye drop again just select that blue blue shade that we have used for our sleeves eye click once then go back to the back view then go inside the layer of the arms create a new layer I drop oh sorry paint bucket then paste I mean click once then save then again on the other sleeve just apply the same steps that you have done on the first on the other sleeve Okay, now close. Now we are going to to adjust this artwork. Just move it, drag. Okay, make sure it is on the top of the front body of the back. Then again, hover on the center while holding Alt or Option your keyboard, and click once. Then as you can see it's now inside our back now on the lower part again we are going to apply a solid color on this just hit the P okay, before that make sure to select the blue then now select the pen tool now just create a line here and now over again then click when holding alt option your keyboard so now it's inside oops as you can see I, we have applied a little bit darker shade of blue here so to make sure that we have only one shade of blue we will go back we will just remove this uh, highlights and shadows then we will select our artwork then I in your keyboard for the eye drop or uh, eye dropper tool now click on the blue shade that we are going to apply in this shape now hit the P now click this and click the correct blue shade okay now we have a perfect shade of blue on our black and now as you can see also the shade of uh, sleeve i think we have selected the wrong one just to make sure you are you selected the shade of blue is uh 
just uh, hide the t-shirt highlights and shadows then select the artwork then eyedropper again select the correct blue then go back on the right and left arm okay then apply the correct shade of blue as you can see it has now the correct shade of blue this is very important so that we only have one uh, correct colors for each uh, design or parts of our jersey and now we are going to put our logo again just drag and drop then add move adjust okay then move down a little bit hit enter now we are going to change the color of this logo just double click and color overlay then as you can see it has automatically applied the color of the blue shade that we have earlier but I think I'm going to the lighter shade of blue just select that then hit OK and don't forget our as uh, our logo on the arm so just double click on the layer of the arm then what we are going to do to make sure that we have one size of uh, logo for both layer just drag and drop okay select that logo on the other side then okay just drag and drop okay then now you can close the other layer then you can check well just make sure to view it if you have applied the logo correctly just save then can minimize this a little bit so as you can see we have put our logo on the wrong area just move it on the correct area of our layer then just hit the save I think we can adjust this a little bit more until you think it is placed perfectly so as you can see we have our logo placed correctly so now we have our final design so I hope you enjoy this tutorial guys and I hope I I did help you in a small way so if you enjoy this and want to learn more uh, design like this please don't forget to subscribe and click the not notification bell thanks guys